All right, we're live back over here at DIY Auto School. This is a little mini series of uh, good does the job got to be? That's the question here. How good does the job got to be? We got our paint. Now, what I did with our paint when I bought it, I went ahead and mixed it all up so we know that this is all, all the right colors. Um, I got the extra paint over here. You can see that right here. So I went ahead and sloshed all the paint together. Um, this paint here is uh, mixed paint ready. All right, this is paint ready, ready to go in my gun. This is the gun I'm gonna be using right here. Um, I don't believe that you need a H the $10,000 HVLP gun to uh, do a custom paint job. And this one here, this actually cost, this was an expensive son of a bitch. I've had that for 30 years, right when SATA came out. This is a SATA mini jet. And they're identically exactly the same as they were back then. Look how old this thing is. This is an authentic 100%. Hold on, what's going on? Mini the body shop, girl. You ready to go to Moab, Utah? Uh-huh. You ready to go? Almost, uh, okay, well, find it. What are you doing over here? You're doing the job right. What are you working on? I'm cleaning windows. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Our Honda, our Honda is finally leaving. And I'm gonna ask you, how good does the job got to be? How good? That's all I want to say about this car. That's all I want to say. Looks pretty fucking good, if you ask me. Really fucking good. So anyway, back to the paint. So the paint is mixed. Now what we're using here, we're using base coat, clear coat. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I want to show everybody. This is called Shopline. This is a PPG product, it's called Shopline. And it's called Shopline Plus, all right? Now, they do have this brand here. It's a JBP, and it's the exact identical same thing as the Plus. The only difference is, is that the clear that they use at, to put into it is just a little bit more high quality. This is one step down from DBC. I've been using this for many years, and I'm going to tell you something. Don't use the Omni. Stay away from Omni Paint. Omni Paint is junk. The clear that we're gonna use on this is an MS-52, it's made by Matrix, and we're gonna use a slow hardener with this. Now, the temperature in Texas, let's go ahead and look at the uh, temperature gauge. We got 70 degrees, it's 70 degrees right now, and it's, what is it, 430, 445, something like that. And the slow hardener, that's this is premium slow hardener here, you usually use that around 85, 90 degrees, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it in this temperature because we want that clear to dry really slow. We want it to flow out and we don't want to have solvent pop or any type of reaction where the clear is gonna shrink. So I always use the 06, which is a, hard, a slow hardener. And I usually use that year round. Now, when I get out to Moab, we're probably gonna switch to this hardener here. Okay, that's an 06 still. Uh, we're going to switch to the 05 hardener. But I'm showing you the materials that I'm using here. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to ask you again, how good does the job got to be? Do I got to use, do I have to get down in my cabinet here? All right. I'm going to get a little bit loud now. Watch out. Do I got to get the DCU 2021 concept clear out to get the job done right? Or can I use the MS-52 matrix? How much money do we got to spend and how good does the job got to be before you can say it's great, it's done? By me using Shopline, I'm saving a lot of money. I'm saving the customer a lot of money. I am very confident of this paint. I love this paint and it's the paint of my choice that I use. I do not use Matrix paint. I don't use DuPont. I don't use Glazerit. I use PPG supplies. Now, we're going to try to go in the paint booth, and I don't know if we can because my, my Wi-Fi sucks. But I also use Shopline Epoxy Primer. I'm not even going to go into it of what epoxy primer is for and if it's sandable or non-sandable or none of this shit. I use it as a sealer. It is a sealer. See that right there? What does that say? That says hardener. That is not an activator. What does this say? This is primer. This is high build 2K primer. What does that say? Activator. This is an activator for this primer. That is a sandable primer. 
This is a hardener. This is a hardener that hardens this. It stops it in its tracks and it's non-shrinkable. It's non-sandable. That's all I'm gonna say about epoxy primer. Take it or leave it, I don't give a shit. We're gonna look at our reducers. I can get the PPG brand reducer, I can do that. And I can also spend $100 a gallon, but I can also get the universal. Universal, do you see what we got here? Universal. It's the same thing, it comes out of the same barrel. One has a different fragrance than the other. It's hard to explain the, the, the chemicals and, and the situations it takes to do it right when save money and make sure the job's done professionally. I got my wax and grease remover, I always do that. Every job that I do, I always wax and grease. If it's an overall paint job, wax and grease. Does it matter what brand? Do I need to get the high expensive PPG brand that costs 70 bucks a gallon or can I use this for 25? How good does it gotta be? Do you, are you getting the question right here? Let's walk over here, I can't walk too far. My Wi-Fi sucks, I don't even like doing live videos because of it, it's kind of embarrassing. Here's our Volkswagen. Anybody that's been following Maxwell, the Volkswagen roof was completely crushed. It was crushed beyond repair. You couldn't even sit in the car. You could not sit in the car. It was, it was crushed be, beyond flatness. I did a lot of extensive metal work on the top of this car. That's all the body work I'm gonna have to do right there, that's it. We're not gonna cover the whole top with Bondo. We're not gonna skim it. We're not gonna spray it. We did it. How good does it got to be? We need to paint this whole car. All the green on this car has got to be painted. That paint that I mixed up, uh, I will never guarantee that I can mix up that perfect color, so the whole car has got to be painted. That's, that's it. It's a done deal. We got our Mercedes over here. We don't want to walk over there. We don't want to look at it. All we can see is it says nightmare. That's all we know. Now, I'm going to open this door very quickly. I want to show you. And I want you to see the difference in color. P3 2K primer is a high quality primer. But what you're looking at here, this is a spot seal job. Wherever I busted through on my final block, I went ahead and spot sealed it. That's it. I didn't put sealer on the whole car. It's unnecessary. Sealer on the whole car. It's unnecessary. You don't need to do that. But once again, how good does the job have to be? You can see the roof had some mild scratches in it, so I went ahead and epoxied the whole roof to fill the very, very minor scratches in. That's gonna help me when I go to color sand it. Another reason you don't want to epoxy prime the whole car, that's a big car. Can anybody tell me how long that is? I'll tell you how long that quarter panel is, seven and a half feet. Seven and a half feet, that's a 14 foot car at least, 14 feet. To epoxy prime this cold car, you are fucking up. Can I tell you why? Because if you don't have the proper mixture of your epoxy primer or the weather isn't agreeing with you, you will get orange peel. You will get orange peel in your epoxy primer. Look at that epoxy primer. You can see how velvety and clean that looks. That's how you lay epoxy primer. You lay it down wet. You let it flow out and you're done with it. You do not epoxy prime the whole car if you're using a high quality 2K primer. That doesn't mean we're gonna go buy K36 primer that costs $650 a gallon from PPG. That means we're gonna use a high quality primer to do our job. That's how good it's got to be. It's got to be good enough to say, I did the best I could, and this is the best I can do for you, sir. This is it. The next time you, I'm talking to you, there's my finger, I'm getting rid of pain, I'm a hardworking motherfucker, I work. We're gonna be up late tonight, make sure everybody stays up for the finale on this. It's gonna to be tonight, it's gonna to be in about four hours. But I'm gonna tell you again, the next time you 
train a whole car and you get on some YouTube channel and they say, epoxy prime the whole car before you paint it. Bullshit! You don't need to do it. Um, I'd like to go ahead and mention this was a junkyard car. I pulled this out of the junkyard. It was a Pontiac Le Mans. We converted it into a GTO. Get on my website, www.projects, and you'll see approximately 30 minutes. And then we're going to go ahead and throw the paint on there. We're going to go ahead and clear coat it. Now, what I do, okay, because I'm going to tell you this spray gun right here, all right, it puts it out like Niagara Falls. Let me put that up there. You can see I got several more here. I've been using these spray guns, and one of these guns, and I believe it's this one right here, um, I can tell you right now, yes, it is. If you look right there, it says, I love you. My son, when he was about four and a half, five years old, he wrote that on that gun. He took a scriber and said, here you go, daddy. So I've had this spray gun since I was 15 years old. That's the first spray gun I've ever bought. And I have sprayed thousands of cars with it. I still use it, but right now I am using now the three X's. That's telling me that's my first gun. Um, let me get that up there. Made in America. You can buy these on eBay, okay? You can, you can buy them on eBay. You can rebuild the kits. You can, you know, clean them. These things are tanks. These are World War II war tanks is what these are. But I will tell you this. This spray gun, and these ones up here, these things spray paint out like Niagara Fall. All right? You really got to know what you're doing when you're using one of those. That is a professional use spray gun only, especially in today's society when you're using all these, you know, high-end, high-name, bullshit, fucking HVLP shit. But being a solid color car, 2015 Dodge Viper Red, um, this is all we need. Now, if this was a high metallic or a, a real fine pearl job, I would be using my SATA gun. Now, I do have HVLP guns. I have a very high-end expensive one, but I only use it for base coat. All the clear coating that I do, anything and everything that I clear, I use a Binks number seven. That's it. But once again, you've got to know how to do it. Now, we've went over supplies. You see what I'm using here. I would not call this bottom of the barrel bullshit. This is top end shit here. This is not junk. You see the paint that I'm using. We're gonna look at the Honda again. You can see the finish on that. Many needs to wash it and wax it. This car was painted with the same bullshit that I just showed you, exact same procedure, and the job is beautiful. And if the owner nitpicks it and bitches, so fucking what? Minnie the body shop girl. Because I'm going to ask everybody this question again. How good does the job got to be? Plain and simple. So is this a DIY auto school video? Yes. Yes, it is. It is a DIY auto school video. I'm sorry. Here's a run that I got to take out of this car before we deliver it. We want to make sure that's done right. But uh, yes, this is a DIY auto school video because you're learning. You're not looking at me. I am vlogging you from the back of the camera. And Minnie is working. I don't know where it's at. What we're looking at, though, is we are learning because I'm showing you secrets, techniques, chemicals to use very simple very easy it's an easy simple technical look what i did hey, let me i wasted you. money and bought this one for backup and i had another one here what i'll show you a tip okay show this us a tip stuff is really 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 good. now what are you using this for now, what does that remove? Maybe the body shop girl. You know that black sticky glue? Yeah. Weather strip, weather strip adhesive glue. That's the only thing that'll remove it that without re ruining the paint. the paint. But hold on a minute. How good does the job got to be? 
That's the situation. It all depends on what the chemicals are that you're using to do the job and the tools that you're supplied with. I'm going to go ahead and get this car in paint. We're going to come back. We're going to look it over. We're going to walk it side to side if possible. Once again, this is a live video. This is Wi-Fi, bullshit Wi-Fi. I got shitty Wi-Fi out here. I got a metal building. What do you expect? Okay. And we're also going to take a look at our favorite character here, Sammy Salami. And I want everybody to think about Sammy Salami as we read the scriptures of Sammy Salami. This one here says, bend over, here comes the change. You're damn right, all right? You're damn right. Thank you very much, Donald Trump. This one here says, boss cocky till the end. If you ain't got a fucking attitude and you can't stand up for yourself, then go back in the closet and hide, bitch. Because that's exactly what Sammy Salami would tell you, all right? This one here says, and as honest as a bottle of beer. Sammy Slammy's not a liar. Sammy Slammy doesn't bullshit. Sammy Slammy's an honest son of a bitch. Honest as a bottle of beer. That's how honest Sammy Slammy is, okay? I don't know about being president, but, you know, there you go. Here's one. Trust me. How do you get the trust? How does Sammy Slammy get his trust? He makes you believe that he's doing right. He shows you that he's doing right, and he gets the job done to the goodness of the best he can do. One more final, lube it up for the long haul. Sammy Salami ain't lubing shit up. Sammy Salami is telling you square deals. He's not giving you the round. He's telling you how beautiful his head is because he's Sammy Salami, the one and only Sammy Salami. See, I got shit all over my shop to remind me of the good things in life. Here's another situation. Beware of clowns. Anywhere you go, there's clowns. It's a clown factory. Because we really don't know how good it's going to be unless you do better you can. I'm going to sit here and be your preacher. We are not sitting in a fucking college, and I am the speaker to all the students. But I am a teacher of DIY Auto School, and I am showing you right here, watch, listen, and learn, bitch. And you're gonna be okay, because you will get the job done right. Let's get some paint on this son of a bitch. It's gonna be a long four hours. Everybody stay tuned for the finale. And we will be back. We're going to go ahead and say goodbye to Minnie the Body Shop Girl. Are you ready to go to Moab? Minnie the Body Shop Girl, hello. Yeah, but I don't How you doing? Everybody wants you behind the camera because you like to talk to everybody. Hi, everybody. Okay, let's get her done. Looking good. See, get that glue off. I, I'm going to get all the... That that's right, because you're doing it right. And that's how good it's going to be. All right, we got to go. Thanks for watching, and we will be back. As soon as this car is painted, we're coming back.